morning today i am going to explain the sixth part that is the crystal field theory the crystal the field theory was originally proposed by beth in 1929 to explain the nature of bonding in ionic crystals later on the theory was applied by van blake and penny and according to account for the magnetic properties of transition metal ions and their complexes the crystal field theory assumes that the interaction between the metal ion and the liand is purely electrostatic that is when liands approach center metal atom or ion the five degenerate d orbitals of the central metal atom become differential that is they get split into levels of different energy into they get separated into two groups that is t2g that is dxy dyz and dxz and eg that is dx square minus y square and dz square the splitting actually depends upon the geometry of the complex the energy separation between these two groups of splitted d orbitals are referred as 10 dq or del so this can be based on the basis of of bow principle hun's rule and paul's exclusion principles so main features of the crystal field theory is that that is in an the uh, transition metal ion is surrounded by the liand with lone pair of electrons and the complex is a combination of central ion surrounded by other ions or molecules or dipoles that is liands all types of liands are regarded as point charges in case of an ion and as dipoles in case of neutral molecules the interactions between the metal ion and the negative ends of an ion is purely electrostatic the liand surrounding the metal ion produce electric field and the electric field influences the energies of the d orbital of central metal metal ion in particularly in d orbitals in the case of free metal ion all five d orbitals have the same energy orbital having the same energies are called degenerate orbitals the five degenerate d orbitals of the metal ion split into different sets of orbital having different energies in the presence of electrical field of liands this is called crystal field splitting the crystal field splitting will be different in different structures having different coordination numbers to understand the crystal field theory it is essential to understand d orbital in space and the geometrical arrangement of the liands around the central metal ion this concept will be done on the coordination number 6 and 4 so the applications of crystal field theory to the complexes of different geometries first we will explain the octahedral complexes in an octahedral complexes entity with six liands the metal atom is at the center there will be a repulsion between the electrons in metal d orbitals and the electrons of the liands thus the dx square minus y square and dz square orbital which points towards the axis along the direction of the liand will experience more repulsion and will raised in energy and the dxy dyz and dxz orbitals which are directed between the axes will be lowered in energy and the degeneracy of the d orbital has been removed due to liand metal electron repulsion in the octahedral complexes to yield three orbitals of lower energy that is t2g and three and two orbitals in the higher energy that is dx square minus y square and dz square in the higher energy that is eg the definite geomet- the splitting of the degenerate levels due to the presence of liand in a definite geometry is termed as crystal field splitting and it is denoted by del not del not they are here o represent the octahedral structure thus the difference of energy between the two sets of degenerate crystal as a result of crystal field splitting is known as crystal field stabilization energy cfse and it is denoted by del not the subscript o is for octahedral thus the energy of the two eg orbital will increase by 3 by 5 del not and that of the 3 t2g will decrease by 2 by 5 
del naught. So this is the structure you can see here that is this is the energy level metal of the d orbital that is dx square y square dz square dx yz dxz and dyz v this is the average energy of the d orbital in a spherical crystal field then they, it will split into two one is the higher energy level and this one is the lower energy level lower energy level will be dxy dyz and dxz and it will this is the berry center which is the total here is del q and it is below this it will be two fifth of del naught and above is three fifth of del naught that is three fifth of del naught that is 0 0.6 and this is 0 0.4 see this is the splitting of d orbital in octahedral crystal field structure same as in the tetrahedral structure in the tetrahedral complexes coordination number is four Four lions are present in the four corners of the alternate of the imaginary cube. Four lions around the metal ion in tetrahedral cube. In tetrahedral coordination formation, the d orbital splitting is inverted and is smaller as compared to the octahedral field splitting. So you can see this is the energy level. This is the orbital of free ions here and that is dx square y square, dz square, dxy, dyz and dxz. This is the average energy of the d orbital in spherical crystal field and this will split into two. Here you can see this is the del t. Here it is t 2g here it is eg now eg will be in the lower level dx square minus y square and dz square and it will be three fifth of the del t and here this one will be dxy dyz and dxz which is t2g will be in the higher level and it will be two fifth of del t here del t denotes the octa tetrahedral form of the crystal field theory so this is the formation of the four coordination number and that was the sixth coordination number. Now we will explain the limitations of the coordination number. What is the limit limitation that is crystal field theory assumes that metal lions interaction is purely electrostatic. This assumption cannot be said to be re realistic. The theory takes into account only the d orbitals of central metal atom or ion and their splitting is studied. The other orbital sp orbital of central metal ion are not taken into account. This theory rules out the possibility of any pi bonding in complexes. The theory does not give any weight, weight Mm, any weightage to the orbitals of lions. So these are the limitation. Now we will explain the color in coordination compound. When light of certain frequency fall on the complex, it absorbs light from visible range you know, for transition of electron from lower to higher level. Color of the compound is complementary or to the color of absorbed light and this is known as DD transition. The complex ion that is TiH2 whole 6 3 plus appears violet in color due to the transition of electron from T2G level to the EG level that is it is going from T2G EG e, T2G to EG. It is important to note that in the absence of Leon, crystal field splitting does not occur and hence the substance is colorless. That is example, anhydrous copper sulfate is white while hydrated copper sulfate is blue. So you can see that there are several examples are given below which shows the complementary color of the DD transition. If the DD due to the presence of the DD transition they are showing color 